Up next on Did You Know? The Villages Movement in Montgomery County. Find out how this community effort helps seniors age in place. Stay tuned. The Village is part of a national movement of neighbors helping neighbors so that they're able to age in place and stay connected to the community. It goes beyond just the notion of, oh, I want to stay at home, let me stay at home. This talks about how do I live my life with the highest quality of life, how do I give to my neighbors, how do I lean on them when they need, um, need the help. It's a, a means of socializing, it's a means of exchanging ideas, um, and helping each other. People are extraordinarily caring, kind, and really want to help others. And so these villages are really about community, coming together to help one another. So they're really fabulous. Having a social network and a social support system is absolutely essential to successful aging in place. The services are provided by volunteers. And uh, so it really is a community of neighbors, helping neighbors. My goal, because it's always good to have a goal, to see the face of aging change in America. So it's a very small thing we're doing here, but it's a movement. A movement that includes more than 250 villages in the U.S., according to the Village to Village Network. Here in Montgomery County, Maryland, there are 23 active villages and 10 in the works. Villages are local grassroots organizations set up by community members with the vision of creating a better place for people to live in. You know, AARP study indicates that more than 90% of people want to age at home, but that requires some thought into it. Things don't just happen spontaneously. So they intentionally create a network of social connections between neighbors as well as self-help. Neighbors helping neighbors, neighbors give rights to neighbors, they help with some home repair, meal preparation when needed. The, the possibilities are limitless. You've heard the expression, it takes a village. It really does take a village to allow seniors to live comfortably in their homes where our seniors want to stay in their homes. But as you get older, you need more help to stay in your home. You need transportation. You need help figuring out who's going to come into your house and do a repair. You may need to get to the doctors. You need community. First village started in the neighborhood of Beacon Hill, Massachusetts in Boston. And people recognized that they loved where they lived for all their lives and their neighbors as well, but they were missing a few elements of a quality of life and they decided to just create something out of nothing. Now the beautiful part behind around this whole idea of villages, it's not rocket science. This is not a huge innovation. It is simply recreating the way people really should relate to one another building strong community, cohesive, where people know one another, care about one another. Just the, most of the time I meet community members who say, oh, this is how things used to be in the past. We're simply reweaving those social fabrics of connections. We are a separate nonprofit. Our, our goal is to serve everybody who is trying to age in place in our neighborhood. The Friendship Heights Neighbors Network. It is a nonprofit villages project like others in Montgomery County that is designed to serve uh, seniors who need transportation and other uh, non-technical uh, kinds of supports in order to age in place. The service is provided by trained and vetted volunteers and we also have an extensive social and educational program that is aimed at uh, combating another problem with aging, which is social isolation. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Friendship Heights is a special taxing district consisting of eight apartment buildings that is on the border. It's in Chevy Chase. 2815 is it's in Chevy Chase, but it's on the border of the district. Um, it, it is, a, it is a, a, an eight building complex where there is a combination of uh, some younger people, 
some in the middle age category, but a third are over the age of 65. We're a neighborhood of nothing but apartment houses, so we do things nearby and we meet people that way and we help each other. So that to me is what's so important and we have a lot of good volunteers. So I've been involved in Buddhist mindfulness meditation for, I don't know, 40, 50 years now and some people were interested so now we have a weekly group. It's uh, a number of the people are here today. Uh, it's really, it's very nice. In the first year uh, we, we have 83 members um, and they're divided into full memberships. That those are the people who have needs like transportation or in-home helps. Um, and then social members who attend our events and uh, lectures and social events such as this one, the, the ice cream social. Get to know each other. Uh, you can meet new friends at the social events. And, uh, and this is the social event today. We could come and have ice cream. Uh, this is an ice cream social, and it um, happens to be on my birthday. Having a social network and a social support system is absolutely essential to successful aging in place, particularly for the many singles, widows, and divorced people that we have in our, uh, in our area and across the country, but also for couples. Uh, where especially as one ages and goes into decline, the other person is a caregiver and never gets out unless there is something that they can get out to, to, to do. So it's very important, especially since most of the, many of the people in these buildings don't know each other at all, that we, uh, that we create a sense of community and connection. The vast majority of villages in the county are volunteer-led and run. Some of them hire staff. Most of staff is either one or two people and they're part-time. And we formed in the summer of 2013, so we're in our sixth year. And we serve uh, the, primarily the, the Bethesda 20816 zip code area. So this is a map of all of the communities that we serve. And the uniqueness about Little Falls is that we're just over Western Avenue, so we're the first village that's in Montgomery County in the Lower County. And so we also work with other villages that are in D.C. as well. And we have 110 members. We've got about 85 volunteers. Um, many of our members are volunteers and many of our volunteers are members. And so we really are a very tight-knit community. We have a wonderfully diverse community in many ways. And we have wonderfully interesting people um, from who've lived all over the world, in the State Department, military, academia. So it makes it really fun. You meet wonderful people, people that you would normally not run into or have an opportunity to meet, and you share common interests. We have a full array of programs. Uh, we have um, ongoing programs. Today, what you're going to see is game day. And we come every Thursday from 1 to 3.30, and rain, snow, sleet. Sometimes it's a full house, sometimes it's not. I'm in particular teaching um, what's called the National Mahjong League's Mahjong. There are many ways to play it, but um, this works because you can take it anywhere. And that whole Mahjong table on the other side of the room I taught, and they live locally, so they get together without me. So there are a lot of smaller groups that have happened since our game day has begun. We have other programs as well that are ongoing. We have a rich array of programs. We have uh, program is specifically for the men. We have men's bridge, we have men's lunch, we have, um, we go to, we have a poetry club, we have uh, library events ongoing, we have a planning committee and a book club, so we do everything. I'm an associate member of the village and what that means is I'm able to attend all of the social events, but I'm also a volunteer. So I uh, respond to requests from members for different types of activities, uh, a lot of driving, a lot of driving to doctor's appointments, for example, but also to social events. Uh, I like the handyman requests. I do a lot of 
re minor repairs around the house, um, changing light bulbs, repairing drawers, a uh, little bit of IT work. It takes a while to launch a village because there's a lot of thought put into it. Um, who can be a leader? Can we sustain this effort? What does the community want us to do? Because different villages offer a different variety of services and support. We are a nonprofit. We all volunteer. And we were established or incorporated in 2015. Um, we have about 40 members on our roster. We meet here at the East County Community Center and we meet once a month. Uh, we got together as a part of this, well, we got together to age in place. So uh, I guess I kind of got a group of the senior fit members and called them aside and asked them what they thought about getting together to form a little group so that we could um, find honest, reliable service providers. We wanted to create a directory so that it could be used and we wanted each person to volunteer someone or refer someone that they had used. And then later on, after we got the little group together, then we talked about having health and wellness classes and that's what we did just to get uh, seniors out, get together, socialize, and also have some programs that would be helpful for them, especially health issues and uh, other issues like some home uh, repair issues and stuff like that. So uh, that's what we try to do. Uh, as time goes, we'll try to expand more and provide more service. We're looking for more members. We'd love for people to come to join us, um, to come with fresh ideas, you know, to make suggestions as to things they'd like to do. Because we have pretty much the use of the facility during the day, and that's, um, that's very important. We have ample parking. I think the Village Movement goes beyond the aging place. It, it's a basically a community activity. It's, a, it's an enterprise. So. Bradley Hills Village, we describe ourselves as an intergenerational uh, neighborhood-based organization of neighbors helping neighbors. We serve five distinct subdivisions in the Bethesda area. Uh, Bradmore, Huntington Terrace, Sonoma, Hillmead, and Edgemore. Good evening everyone and welcome. We thank Big Train Baseball for welcoming us here. And Bradley Hills Village is a community of neighbors helping neighbors. It's an intergenerational community that helps others with social, educational, and recreational activities. I think it's very important because life is not only about food and drink and living by yourself, but connecting with the community. That's the value. Terrific! Wonderful, thank you. That's great! And having retired recently, it's, it's, it's really nice to be able to, um, you know, lift a, lift a hand. It's an easy way to be organized, to give a helping hand to neighbors. We provide a whole range of services for uh, our members. We, um, we provide transportation for errands and to grocery shop and um, We've uh, trained a whole uh, cadre of people to be medical note takers, to be helpful to people who, who need that kind of service. We, uh, we look after packages and, 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 and flowers when people are away. Um, you know, we, we pet sit. Uh, so uh, we're, we're working in, in these, what I think of as the glue, that builds a neighborhood together. We're not strictly focused on seniors, although obviously um, much of our membership falls into that category. If people want to start a village in the county, they probably should call me first because there's so much information out there. It can be very overwhelming just to digest and process where do I begin, what's the most effective way for me to jump into this very deep pool. The website contains a variety of documents um, a group of us had written a manual of how to 
kind of nuts and bolts of starting a village based on very many different villages experiences and so that I find to be a very clear short and sweet summary of the activities people should take on when they start a village but we also have a uh, dive deep into the topic of volunteer management to recruitment risk assessment uh, liability issues ethical concerns and so some villages even as they have operated for a couple of years find themselves asking question wait a minute am i doing this right can i do it better and so finding a place where you can get answers to your question is very helpful to them and they also also meet i convene the villages on a regular basis to exchange ideas network ask questions, learn something new. So there's a lot of learning. It's a constant growth and learning process for all of us. The village at Kentlands Lakelands provides services to seniors 55 and older, such as transportation, uh, walking seniors who may need some accompaniment in walking, social visits, as well as some, you know, direction with services that they may need. My husband and I spent most of our life in Montgomery County, but we retired out of state until, unfortunately, uh, he got a diagnosis of Alzheimer's, so we had to come back near the children. One thing that he loved was walking. He walked five to 20 miles a day almost all his life. And so I asked Jean, uh, who is our liaison um, between Cantlands and, and the uh, villages, if there was any way she could help us. Did she know of anyone in the community who might walk with him? Well, shortly after that, maybe a day or two, I got a telephone call from her and she had lined up five wonderful women who would walk with him one hour a day, five days a week. I have to tell you how much it has meant to me to be now a member of the Cantland and Lakeland Village. About six months ago, I fell and broke my main uh, muscle, my femur, and so I spent, you know, five days in the hospital, had surgery, uh, three weeks in rehab, then I came home, three weeks of more rehab, then three months of balanced rehab, and how was I going to get to all my appointments? For a while I had, you know, AIDS, but then this was costing me a fortune. And so little by little, I started asking for help from the Candlin and Lakeland Village. And let me tell you, they have been the most wonderful people. But we also provide events and activities for them. So as Today we have partnered with uh, Hospice Caring who's putting on a program on being mortal based on the best-selling book. Allison starts and it's really an honor. We have 44 um, what we call service members and we have 34 trained volunteers who have been vetted and trained by the village. Um, the village started about four years ago, and it started the first two years by a small uh, group of Kentlands residents who surveyed residents to see if there was a need for um, a village. And they found that not only was there a need, but also there was high interest. So two years were spent planning for the village. And then it launched two years ago. I think it's November 2016. So it takes a while for the community to set something up for themselves. But once they do, then it's there for the running. Okay, well, we've been probably operational about two years. And we're probably you know newer in that sense. And I think one of the big uh, benefits is probably uh, for us right now is social. We are doing services, but um, we haven't got to the point where we've had a population that matures who will need more services. Uh, so I think the bi the biggest aspect right now is social. When people retire, um, you know, you come out, you're you're working a job, and oftentimes, you know, you've uh, been pretty. Uh, busy and you suddenly you know if you a lot of people retire and uh, 
they uh, you sort of lose that and the village you know, offers a lot of different opportunities to uh, fill that sort of void as we all get older we're going to need more services you know rides to the doctor maybe rides to the grocery store and the things so there's other things that they do offer like uh, the village offers if you go away and you have your newspapers out there well people will pick them up I mean you can you know just put a service request in. My wife and I have been in Bethesda now for about between four and five years and the village has just been a terrific add-on to everything else that Bethesda stands for. My wife has been very active in setting up the village and so I've been sort of an adjunct to that let's say. So we have spoken to the community, uh, we talked about our time in Moscow because I spent a lot of my career in Moscow. Uh, we've, uh, we've been part of almost all the community gatherings and you know essentially we're also on the record as volunteers. Uh, I'll do handiwork, uh, which is something people want, uh, willing to drive people. Um, you know, we're willing really basically to try to be uh, members of that community which wants to allow people to stay in place as long as they want to. My role is to uh, serve as a cheerleader, pep talker, technical assistant, research associate, all jack of all trades, whatever villages need to make their work easy, to increase the successes of operations, of launching, that is my purview. And I basically do whatever it takes. And if I need to go and learn about the best background check vendor, I will do that. If I need to understand the best tool for a community survey, I will do that. And so I collect information from different villages and I have this depot of wisdom and knowledge compiled by a variety of different villages. And I go online, I ask, I learn. And so whatever villages need me to do, that's where I am. I do a lot of presentations, public speaking, small forums, large meetings. Um, we have a small startup money because some of those villages, it's kind of a chicken and egg. You can't apply for a grant before you're in a nonprofit but it takes a little bit of money to apply to become a nonprofit. So the county council has approved $10,000 to um, serve as a pocket change, a petty cash for startups. And our seniors are the fastest growing part of our county. So we need to pay particular attention to our seniors and help them stay in their homes as long as possible. And villages are an excellent means of doing just that. For more information about villages in Montgomery County, go to this website or call 240-777-1231.